Alright everyone, welcome back. Mission 9, Storm the Aperoid Homeworld. It's the second to last level. The Aperoid Homeworld. Let's go. Let's invade this enemy homeworld already. To drop the shield, we must get all the hatches, yeah? Let's hit them before they solidify defensive positions. Slippy and I will take over clearing these skies. I can take care of business when the time comes. This is do or die time. I'm counting on every one of you. So, yeah. Basically, we gotta destroy some hatchers again, just like in Katina or Saria. By the way, off screen, I went and got all S ranks, so yippee for me. You don't exactly get a reward for all S rank, but you do get a reward for getting 100%, and I still have, I still have to find all those S flags. Trust me, getting the S flags is not a simple task. Again, not as getting all S rank, but I don't know which is harder, getting all the S flags or getting all S rank. Maybe they're just equals for there's equal for the difficulty. Anyway, this all is pretty neat. It has some neat music. In fact, this looks similar to that bug level from from Turok 2. Which the real Anchoid is doing a let's play of. In fact, he's worked on it for almost almost two years right now. I mean, holy shit, that's a lot of time for one little let's play. That's because he likes to procrastinate a lot. <laughs> I've not really played that in years. And yes, he can't stand to see me like this. Well, neither can I. Slip. Anyway, the Hatchers, uh, there's, there's a little gimmick to them. They're protected by barriers, and you gotta destroy three barrier generators in order to destroy them. Destruction of Hatcher confirmed. If you fall from here, you're done for. Be careful, Crystal. Oh, uh, yeah, sure, you tell Crystal to be careful, but not, not anyone else. You just love her fox. Yeah, so apparently they had more uh Cornarian Cornarian dudes come with them. Yeah, I did see there were other ships that went with them through the gate and apparently pretty much those were uh Cornarian guys. But they aren't really here they aren't exactly uh here fighting with us in, in this level. And even if they were, they just retreated, apparently. But they take all your points anyway, so, yeah. They kind of get in the way, as well as all your other partners do. Speaking of which, uh, Crystal... Crystal is down here fighting with Fox, as well, in uh, another area. She's in the, uh, the green zone. There's a red zone, a yellow zone. A purple zone and a green zone. We're in the red zone right now. Um, and she's at the green zone fighting enemies. Get in the way as always. But she doesn't get as much in the way here as she does in um, Saria. Speaking of which, I did figure out the real trick to getting that S in Saria. You don't really have to focus too much on time, but we you know what to do, it's really easy. The last S rank I got was fighting that final boss, and believe me, that final boss, that final, that final boss is tough. It's it's not really much on easy or medium mode, but when it comes to hard mode, that final boss proves to be quite a challenge. I, I would show you by doing the, the last level on hard mode, but I mean, it takes a whole lot of, it takes lots of energy out of me, and I almost hurt my thumb. Tapping the, just trying to shoot it. You know you gotta keep tapping the A button to shoot enemies and all that. And believe me, that that could that could mean trouble for that ball boss. You really hurt your thumb. Look, I don't know how to make it any clear. The final boss is a problem. 
on hard mode. And you can hurt your thumb trying to beat it. And obviously the final boss is the Queen Aperoid. They, I mean, they, they keep saying we gotta destroy the Queen to destroy the Aperoids. So, cle so clearly there's no real spoilers involved here. The final boss is the Aperoid Queen. But this level, seriously, this level and that final boss even, they look, they look a whole lot like enemies you'd see in Turok, that bug level. I forget the name of that bug level. Ah, good old bombs. I think those bombs can hurt you if you're in their range, so don't get in their range. Fire. Well, thanks very up. Well, thanks very much for the useless bit of advice. Yep. Anyway, after this game, I'm still thinking, but I think I might do Redux of Ape Escape. Because it sounds like some people actually want me to bring it back. And no one's ever... And no, one, and no one's ever asked me to bring a Let's Play... a deleted Let's Play back. So I guess they really do want to see it. So I might give Ava Escape another shot. I won't re-upload the videos, I'll just make a new one, since my skills have improved, haven't they? Dang, this one enemy away from a combo. But I already got the A rank here. And the S rank. Ah, oh, cool, combo. See those electric ball things? Um, if you get too close, they're gonna shock you, and you wouldn't want that now, would you? They can be quite a problem. As cop rings would say, or something like that. Well, as cop rings would call that, th uh, this stage, or me, at least that final boss, he'd call it quite hard. Because that is. Because Calbrain's catchphrase is quite hard. I mean, almost every video, well, I mean, at least every, at least almost every hard part of the game he comes to, he says quite hard, quite hard, he can't stop saying it. I mean, I lost count of how many times he said that in the final boss fight of Luigi's Mansion. I mean, really. He's got to say something different. Well, he did say something different in that video, but... Seriously, though. Overusing the phrase quite hard, aren't you, Calbrains? It's like I ever use saying yes and alright. And I just can't help myself but continue to do so. And yes, I'm talking about unrelated stuff to this game because I think I made it quite clear. I gotta quit saying quite too. I made it quite clear that this level looks like a bug level from Turok, and oh yeah, did I point out it's um it's got a lot of points in it too. It is, it is one of my favorites. It's probably my second favorite level. Destruction of Hatcher confirmed. Way to go. Five, and yes, we're two, taking out Hatchers three. again. And somehow you're able to jump like really high going up these hills, and you're able to reach that platform. Which would be pretty useful if you're doing a speedrun or something. And now I'm epically, epically failing. 
Now we want to go get the landmass, so I'll see you back there since it's a long way back.